Hey everyone, Steve Malloy here. The New York Times today ran a photo that exposes the climate hoax exactly for what it is. Here's the photo. It shows a coal plant operating somewhere in Michigan. The ominous headline reads, The Stakes on Climate. Times climate propagandist Lisa Friedman asks, Will governments slash greenhouse gases enough to prevent the most dangerous impacts of global warming? She continues, Vice President Kamala Harris calls climate change an existential threat. Former President Donald Trump dismisses climate change as a hoax. So let's look at the photo. Climate hoaxers are fond of running photos of coal plants with white stuff coming out of the smokestacks to reinforce the notion that coal plants pollute. But what is that white stuff? Well, it's not smoke. It's just water vapor. When you know that, it looks like a cloud because it is a cloud. But readers are misled into believing it's pollution. Yes, carbon dioxide is being emitted, but carbon dioxide is colorless and invisible. So readers are falsely conditioned to see something they really aren't seeing. Absent any disclaimer, it's just dishonest. Now let's go a little deeper. This graph shows how atmospheric carbon dioxide emissions relate to greenhouse warming. It shows how the warming potential of carbon dioxide decreases dramatically and logarithmically as atmospheric carbon dioxide increases. The reason for this is simple. There's only so much energy for greenhouse gases to interact with. As carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, there is less and less energy to trap. We are now at a point where carbon dioxide emissions only trivially add to warming. If you're worried about warming, you're barking up the wrong tree by trying to cut carbon dioxide emissions. What about the water vapor? Water vapor, after all, is the dominant greenhouse gas. It's responsible for 80 to 95% of the greenhouse effect. Now, I don't have the same kind of curve for water vapor as for carbon dioxide, but who needs that when we can look at the real world? This graph of global temperatures derived from NASA satellites shows global warming since 1979. Note the spikes. These spikes occurred during El Nino years, years when the Pacific Ocean mysteriously but naturally warmed and put more water vapor into the atmosphere. This water vapor caused the warming spikes. This is undisputed. So let's go back to our smokestack photo. Climate hoaxers scare you about stuff coming out of the smokestack that you can't see and that can't possibly cause discernible warming. Climate hoaxers ignore the water vapor that you can see that can cause warming, albeit at a level that pales with what evaporates during an El Nino. So there you have it. Carbon dioxide emissions are much ado about nothing. Climate hoaxers lie shamelessly about it. And that's all you need to know about the climate hoax. But I encourage you to stay up with the latest in the climate hoax anyway. Follow me on X at Junk Science and at my website, junkscience.com. Thanks for watching.